Today, I'm gonna show you how to improve your slow motion footage by using speed ramps. Let's take a look. What's going on, Jay Lipman here. Welcome to another video. If you're new to the channel and you wanna learn about things like video editing, camera gear, and how to make better videos, make sure that you subscribe to my channel and hit that bell so you can get notified whenever I upload a new video. Today, we're jumping back into DaVinci Resolve. I'm gonna show you a cool little trick that you can do with your slow motion footage that's really gonna improve the way that it flows. It's, it's used everywhere. We're talking about speed ramping today. If you don't know what speed ramping is, it's where a piece of footage goes from normal speed into slow motion, back into normal speed, or sometimes from sped up into slow motion and then sped up again, or sped up into regular speed and then sped up. You get the idea. It goes, it change, it's a change in speed within the same piece of footage. Why didn't I just say that in the beginning? Speed ramping is used all over the place in movies, TV shows, YouTube, you name it. I I guarantee you, you've seen it before. I'm gonna show you how to do that. You can do this in basically any editing software, but I really like the way that DaVinci Resolve has it laid out. I just think it's really cool, super easy, a lot more enjoyable and a lot more accurate. So let's jump into DaVinci Resolve and I'll show you how to speed ramp your slow motion footage. All right, so here we are in the edit page in DaVinci Resolve. I have a clip queued up. It's just a simple panning clip of one of my many microphones that I've reviewed on this channel. I'm gonna play that for you right now so you can see what it looks like. It's already slowed down. There's just no speed ramping to it. So the goal here, the goal with this tutorial is to make that footage so coming into the pan is a lot faster and coming out of the pan is a lot faster while the middle point still stays in slow motion. And the first step to doing that is using a tool called Retime Control. And to get to Retime Control is really easy. You just right click the footage. You're gonna go to Retime Controls. The next thing we wanna do is find the point in the footage where we want it to go from sped up to slowed down. For me, that's gonna be right about here. It's actually perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and hit that 100% and hit add speed point. Then we're gonna find the point where we want our footage to go from slow motion back up to a sped up time. We're gonna find that right about here, right before the toner logo starts to dip out of frame. Do the same thing, hit that 100% and hit add speed point. The next thing we wanna do is speed up everything to the left of this speed point and everything to the right of this speed point while keeping this middle point in slow motion. And there's two different ways to do that. One is to hit that drop down box again next to the 100%, hit change speed and go to 800%. That's actually a little bit faster than normal speed, but whatever. The other way to do this is to grab the top of your speed point Make sure it's the top, that part's very important. Just go ahead and drag it to the left. And we're actually gonna speed that up quite a bit. And from there, we could add a little bit of color grading, a little bit of stabilization, and it would look like this. And that doesn't look bad, but did you notice how the change from sped up to slow motion was really fast and really abrupt? We actually want to change that. We wanna make it smoother. We wanna add a little bit of a curve. And to do that, we need to use a tool called Retime Curve. And we get into Retime Curve the same way we got into Retime Controls, just right click the piece of footage and hit Retime Curve. We're gonna hit this drop down box to the left and we're gonna deselect Retime Frame and hit Retime Speed. And if we scroll down here, you can see that we have our sped up part right here. It drops down to slow motion and then it goes back up to sped up. And you can see that here and over here, we have very straight lines and we wanna actually add a curve to that. So we're gonna hit that keyframe. We're just gonna click on it. And then you'll notice these two boxes up in the top. This left box will add a curve around your keyframe. So you see how it's curved a little bit, and this horizontal line here can be used to change the shape of your curve. You can make it a little bit more abrupt, a little bit smoother. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing over on the right, click that keyframe, hit that curve box, and there you go. 
And now we add some color grading and some stabilization and here's what it looks like. Pretty cool, right? If you want to learn more about editing in DaVinci Resolve, I have a playlist linked below. Make sure you check that out. In the meantime, like this video if you enjoyed it, share it if you think your friends will enjoy it, and don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell if you haven't done so already. I will be back on Monday with a brand new video, but until then, thanks for hanging out, and I'll talk to you later. See ya.